Hi Scorpio, let's get into your general weekly reading for the 3rd of October. I'll clarify with the black violet. We'll start with the true black as usual and then I've got a spirit guide for you as well. So we jump straight in. We have the six of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the whole pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the moon and the ten of cups. This is great looking read. Scorpio, this is lovely. Um, there is some background noise. That's the farmer. He's just uh, taken in the He's got his combine harvester out in the field there. So it is a little bit noisy, but you know, we don't live in soundproof studios. So we'll just bear with if you can. Um, really nice looking, uh, read this one. Yeah, very nice Scorpio. Not um, very, uh, some of the others have been quite uh, cathartic or a bit uh, fighty. This one looks really good. Energy on the bottom is the fantastic um, Page of Swords. Page of Swords, he's basically, oh, I've had enough of this. He's just cutting through the brambles, the stuff that's, the red tape that's holding him back. He's like, I've had enough of this. And as he's chopped through it, it's re released uh, um, the berries, the sort of victory, the fruits. And everyone's gone, this is a great idea. Really nice energy. So that's good. Very powerful. Real sort of clarity this week. You're not, you're not taking any kind of wishy-washy stuff, you know, straight in, straight to the detail. You start off your present position is the six of pentacles you got three coins here that are doing what they should be doing they're, they're buying stuff there they're raising up your 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 sort of power and standing and everything else but there's three down here that aren't being used so you've got six but you're only using three so you're not using all of your ability and that could be you know if it was a, a romantic relationship you're not giving 100 percent of yourself and there's no reason not to there's nothing wrong with those coins you're just choosing to ignore them so it's about finding the balance it's about pulling putting more into the day i think i would say um the present expectation is really good i mean the expectation here is there's a new start coming in pentacles are all about they're either about money which is pretty simplistic or they're about kind of material things and rolling your sleeves up and actually doing it swords are about thinking about it i've had a great idea so the ace of swords is i've had a great idea the ace of pentacles is about i'm going to create i'm going to make this great idea a reality so you're on top of the mountain the mountains are about achievements either to be achieved or already done and you're on top of the mountain so you've already achieved so much but now you really you know rolling your sleeves up you've got the tools at your disposal you've already started the process so it's really good energy What's unexpected is um, the seven of pentacles. So you've got the six and the seven here. So there's hands moving through as well. This is about using those pentacles and six of them are being put against the list here. So it's like they're going to cost you six and here's six. Have you got any more? Yes, I'm creating more money here. And this um, wheat sheaf here is about um, planting the seed and, and growing the, in this case, growing more money and harvesting more money. So it's a card of abundance, it's a card of growth, and it continues to go and go and go. Um, it also talks about, you know, you've done a great job so far, and there's maybe a little bit of respite, a bit of a breather, but it is going to start again. So if you're in a job, it's really put really simply you're in a job you just finished a project it went really well everyone thinks you're amazing on monday you start a new project you know it's like friday everyone thought you were great monday you have to start again now you, you're starting again from a higher place but you are you know still starting afresh short-term future of the moon a couple of things with the moon in this particular reading one is you have unlimited untapped potential yeah you think you're good, you could be great. You think you're great, you could be awesome. You think you're awesome, you could be awesomer. Yeah, so it's it's that. Whatever you are at the moment, you could be more. And so you think, oh, I'm not sure as I can be. Yes, you can. Simple as. And then the long-term future and the weekly read, what's that? One, two, three weeks. Um, Ten of Cups, happy family home. Um, it's normally a rainbow of cups over a family that are very joyful underneath, waving their arms in the air. Um, all the swords that have been causing you trouble, you've actually bent into a wreath underneath those there so you've actually taken all your troubles and, and done something positive with them really really nice energy and a great way to round off the week so love to see that so happy celebration family could be marriage could be proposal as well um but it's a very very happy card page of wands um the entrepreneur one in this particular deck on the page of wands um, she's creating a portal beneath her feet i call it the indiana jones it's um it's off you go, jump into the adventure, you know, who knows where it's going, but you're cutting through red tape and you might as well follow up with, come on then, let's go, let's do this. 
Ace of Cups on top of Ace of Pentacles, um, Scorpio, that couldn't be better. So not only are you doing something rolling your sleeves up and making it happen, you're doing it with real emotion as well. You know, it's a real, it's a real kind of change to your emotional thinking about this thing. So if it was, we were talking about a job, weren't we? And, it, and keep it nice and simple. You finish one job, you're about to start another job, but your attitude towards it is really positive as well. It's really loving and caring and emotionally supportive. Maybe other people in the team struggled a little bit, so you're going to mentor those people and bring them forwards as well. And in a, in a personal relationship, it'd be the same thing. You know, sometimes when someone's been the hero of the day, you know, your your partner's, I don't know, working every hour God sends and bringing in money and getting a bonus and you know you can feel a bit oh they're doing all the work and i'm not it's like well no that's not true it's just today is their day but they need you to support them everybody needs someone supporting them in order for them to be able to go off and do what they need to do nine of pentacles is a card of um it's a card of focus it's a card of confidence and abundance and knowing that you have the ability to create more of what you need to create so, for example, if you were, I don't know, if you were a cook or a chef, you could, you know you could be an even better one. Not in a negative way. It's like, you know, I'm knocking this out of the park, but I can always be better. I can always move forward. If it's about money, you can generate more money. There are ways to do it. But it's real focus and intent. That's what the whole kind of hand is for. King of Cups on top of the moon. So you've got the go with your intuition and this unlimited potential. This sort of, the moon is... Is on the downside, be careful of any kind of negativity with the moon, it could be a little bit two faced. But the King of Cups is completely and utterly in tune with his emotions, so they're not going to be blindsided by uh, what's the word, someone uh, buttering them up. We say, you know, it's like, oh, um, you know, uh, someone trying to smooth talk that won't work with the King of Cups. He's like completely in tune with his own emotions, knows where he's coming from, knows what anxiety is, knows what frustration is, knows what true love is knows what anger is and he's able to kind of maturely deal with all of those responses whereas the moon can be a bit up and down so you he's lovely mellow energy on top of that one uh the hermit after this fantastic result success it's time for a little navel gazing i think it's time to go away and and take the knowledge you've learned and see if you can't build on that the hermit is go off up into the mountain by themselves just do some navel gazing you know often the answers are within you know these candles around here and she's holding one here this is the one this is the you sometimes in tarot particularly when you're doing a personal reading for someone they, they just go that's i know exactly what this is and and you already know the answer to something you know the hermit doesn't sometimes the hermit could go to a library and read books on how to put up a shelf or watch a, a youtube video on how to put up a shelf but usually and, and that's very vocational skills but we're talking about those soft skills the you know am i a good person am i a good father you know and in your own head in that nanosecond it goes could be better could be worse or it goes yes you are you know what i mean there's a sometimes the answer we are searching for we already know there you go that's what i would say to that one and spirit wants the message which is see the big picture really simply the giraffe has got the long neck he's able to look above the kind of the nonsense that we were talking about here do you know what we were saying he's he's been held back by some red tape or or gossip or some some sort of um bureaucratic nonsense something unnecessary was holding him back and he went i'm having none of this and that's what the giraffe spirit is able to do it's it's above all of this it can see the horizon yeah knows what's coming sees the bigger picture but it is about literally stretching out it's about seeing that and doing something about it because if you know you know if you know there's i don't know uh, more work coming into your job you know you go oh i can see there's more work coming through it's literally like a conveyor belt you can see what's on the conveyor belt three miles away you know what's coming in you can be prepared for it and you will be prepared for it have a fantastic week i will see you next time take care